Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll create the simple model here in FreeCAD. And to do that, we'll use these dimensions here. So this model will be the reference. Okay. So here, create new file. Go to Part Design Workbench. Create body and create new sketch in XY plane. Select this rectangle tool and click in this vertical line and draw this rectangle. And now select this symmetric constraint click in this point and this point and now this horizontal line okay now let's see the dimensions for the sketch so here we have 40 and 8 and the pad of this sketch is 6 okay so first we select this vertical distance tool and here we set 8 Select this horizontal distance tool, click in this line and here set 40. And now close this sketch, press home and select this pad tool, change here to 6 and enter. Okay, now click in this icon to create a new sketch. This sketch in YZ plane, switch to section view. Click in this icon and extract this geometry. And now select this slot tool and draw this slot in this way. Delete this arc. Select this polyline tool and continue drawing the sketch. Oh, sorry, control Z. Okay, click in this point. And now here and in this point and now this point okay next we select these lines and click in this vertical constraint and all lines will be vertical okay and now we select this equal constraint we constrain these two lines and these two lines okay now let's see the dimensions for this sketch so in this reference model we see these dimensions we have 16 29 10 and and we have this distance between the the center of this arc to this point here so we come back to this model and first we select this vertical distance tool click in this origin point and now this point and change this dimension to 16 here set 10 now select this tool here and here will set 29 okay and now select this vertical distance tool and select this point and the center point here will change to 5 and okay close this sketch go to pair tool here will set 6 and okay okay guys to do this this pocket here we can we can go to combo view select model and in this pad we click in this arrow here and double click in this sketch and here what we'll do is to change this sketch so here we go to sketch elements and we select this slot here Click in this point and now in this line. Okay. So in this model, we see that we have 24. Okay. And the radius of this arc here is 6. So here we select this vertical distance tool and here we set 24. And now this tool here and we constrain here to 5. Okay, is that? No, is 6. So double click here and change to 6 and close this. And now you can see this pocket. Okay. And next we select this face here, create a new sketch, switch to section view, and here we select this slot tool. Click in this vertical line and draw this. 
now delete this arc select this line tool and connect these two points and next select this tool okay select this point and this point vertical constraint okay and now here we can see this dimension we have 14 here okay and a pad of 8 and we have these these 6 millimeters for the diameter of the cycle okay and we have okay the range of this arc here is 6 so we come back to this model and we constrain this this radius to 6 okay and the distance between the center of these slots here is 52 so we select this vertical distance tool and click in this point and now this origin point and here we set I will set this dimension 26 okay and now select this horizontal distance tool and here we will say 14 okay let's see is that no okay so here will be 14 14 plus 6 okay and now close the sketch here and go to pad tool here we change the link to h and ok and next we create new sketch in x plane ok we select this polline tool and we draw this sketch and now select this arc tool connect these two points Okay, and now go to Zoomatic Review, and and here we select this tool here, and we extract this edge, and now this edge here, and switch to section view. Okay, so now we select these two points here, and we make it constant, and now these two points we make constant okay and now let's see the dimension for this line here and this arc okay so here we see dimension okay here is 40 14 plus 6 okay and the distance between these parts here is 15 okay and the value of the pad is 5 and the radius of this arc here is 45 so we select this tool here and we constrain this radius to 45 and here we will set 20 and close this sketch okay and now we go to this sketch and we go to attachment editor and here we will change the value of z duration Okay, here we'll set 7.5 and now OK. Select this sketch and go to pad tool. Here we set 6 and OK. Click OK and now select this, this pad and this pad and now go to this mirrored feature. And here we go to plane and we select X Z plane. And now we can see these objects here. And now click OK. Yes, it's all. So now to create these to create these walls, this wall and this wall, we we select these faces and we go to wall future and here we set 
Okay, the red is is no the diameter is six, but we change here to true gold to have this all, and click OK. And the next step is to do these fillets. So the range of the fillets is five. So we come back to this model and we select this edge and go to fillet tool. Here we change this value to five and click in this head button. And now select this. Now we change to wireframe and we select these edges. Click in this add button and now we we click OK and next we select this edge here and we go to fillet tool. We change this value to 0 0.5 and click in this add button and we add this edge, these two edges and now this edge and this edge and this edge and now click OK. Now we, we come back to flat lines and we can see this result. Okay guys this model is finished. Thank you for watching this video.